It's been a long time since the last build video, but here's the long-awaited Highlander build update. So I've got the ailerons and flaps built. I've got the right wing set here on the workbench. I have the left wing set actually up on the trailing edge of the wing, and we'll go over that. So what's left on them is just to seal the wood with a two-part varnish and then cover them. I wanted to go over the leading edge modification that I got from Steve Henry for the ailerons. So you got the aileron on the left here with Steve Henry's aluminum bent leading edge and then the factory fiberglass flap leading edge. Here's a look at the leftover piece of each leading edge. So Steve says that the Highlander will roll and turn a lot nicer with this aileron leading edge. So what we've got over on the wing, I got a little mock-up here, is uh, you got the wood rib and then you got to position the hinge brackets like so and then drill through. You got one side that's already drilled and the other side will match and each one becomes a paired set and you can't mix them up then. So we'll come over to the wing. This takes quite a bit of time to line up the flaps and ailerons and get everything spaced out right and working right. The ailerons need 30 degrees up, 30 degrees of down movement, and the flaps need 4 degrees down movement. I've got this aileron hinge bracket here is already drilled and clecoed in, and the rest are just clamped in place. So this one is kind of complete here. They're going to get epoxied and then riveted to the wood rib webbing we'll just go down the wing i'll show you how everything is everything is clamped spaced and shimmed it's quite the process i think i've spent about two weeks getting these all lined up the other wing will go a lot quicker now that i've got the spacing all figured out here's where the flap and the aileron meet So I don't think the directions are very good on showing you how to line up the aileron and flaps to the wing. Here's how they've gone over it. They tell you to clamp a straight edge to the, would be the top of the wing and the top of the aileron and flap. And that's supposed to line them up. And they actually tell you to have the wing removed off the airplane, put it upside down on the workbench and that'll line everything up for you. What I've done is I've put the turtle deck, I've just clamped it on to the fuselage and I got some straight edges. So when everything's all said and done, we get the wing lines up with the windshield and we'll go across the top and line up with the other wing. And then as that contour line kind of flows back into the flaps, that should line up with the turtle deck and just kind of all be one in one line, one plane. I've taken a lot of pictures of Steve Henry's Highlanders and other Highlanders and that's kind of how I see everyone's flaps and ailerons line up with the wing. They wanted, let's see, an eighth inch gap between the flap leading edge. Where's my spacer? Here we go. The flap leading edge and the wing trailing edge. Here are my eighth inch spacers. And then there will be, it was an option to do a flap gap seal between the top of the trailing edge of the wing here and the flap to kind of close that off. And I think I'll probably make an aileron gap seal also. You can see the gap on the aileron is a little bit bigger than what the flap is because of the leading edge differences. Come to the end of the wing here and kind of show you. But like I said, now that I've got the left wing all figured out, however, shim and space everything, the right one will probably go twice as quick.
If you guys are enjoying this build series so far and you're not subscribed, I hope you guys subscribe to the channel and then thumbs up this video and all of them you watch. It really helps on YouTube. I do get a lot of questions on the, let's, a lot of people ask about plans and a lot of people ask about the build manual. And I, I mentioned that I don't think the directions for setting the flaps and ailerons are very good to putting the, lining them up to the wing. I will say though that if I have any questions and I email or call the factory, they're quick to get back to me and help me straighten things out. Um, but here, just to give you an example here, this is actually the directions on this page to set the aileron to the trailing edge and they're showing a picture of the flap. The flap only has one bell crank on the bottom side. The aileron is right here, has a bell crank on top and on bottom because it moves up and down, not just down like the flaps. So if you, you turn a couple pages, same picture, and this one is actually the flap directions. So I, you know, the, the directions aren't the greatest. Um, this isn't the first airplane I've built, so when you build one plane, they're all kind of similar. Not the biggest deal. And Just Aircraft does not send plans with the kit. Don't know why. I'd probably help out on some stuff. Because, yeah, for example, like if they sent plans and gave you a profile or a measurement of how to, you know, like a cutout of the wing rib going into the aileron and the flap, and you could cut that out of wood and then kind of just um, push it onto the wing, clamp it in place, and it hold the whole trailing edge of everything in place, and that would help. I think that's how I built the last airplane is I made kind of a jig, and that held everything in place. But do get a lot of people asking about that, about plans, and they don't send any plans with anything. That picture of the flap and the aileron going onto the trailing edge on that piece of paper over there and the build manual, that's about as detailed as they get with plans. I'm trying to work on this about every day now, get a couple hours in every day in my free time. So there's gonna be more videos coming out soon and hopefully more regularly. If you guys wanna see anything specific, make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know what you wanna see or go into more detail of. I did have one viewer say that the Steve Henry add-on modification video I did really helped because there's not a lot of info on that. If you guys have any questions or want me to go in more details on what I've done or built so far, let me know, send me a comment and I can kind of shoot or talk about whatever. I did have a viewer tell me that the Steve Henry modification video I did was helpful to him. He said there wasn't a lot of info out there on what his stuff is. So just let me know, leave a comment. I'm trying to work on this a little bit every day now in my free time. So there's gonna be more build videos coming out soon and hopefully on a more regular basis. So stay tuned for more.